everybody, welcome into this Adobe Lightroom tutorial brought to you as always by tutvid.com. Now today we're going to talk about uh, contact sheets, how you can create them in uh, Lightroom and export them to a PDF. I'm going to show you three, count that, one, two, three different ways to create contact sheets in Adobe Lightroom, all slightly different ways. Um, and maybe we'll suit different techniques um, depending on what you want to do. So let's jump in and take a look at how you can create a contact sheet in Adobe Lightroom today. So the first technique is over here. We want to go to the print module. Um, there's two different ways to export contact sheets to the print module, and I'm going to show you them both right here, right now. Uh, what we can do, once we jump over to the print module, I have just a collection here with 10 photos in it. Um, I'm going to go to Lightroom Templates right over here. I'm choosing Lightroom Templates, and you can choose any one of these. Uh, you can see there's all kinds of different options. Um, some of them are really, really helpful. You can go like two by two cells. You can see. There we go. Now, part of the problem is uh, right down here, I have in the use area selected photos uh, as my selection. I want to choose all film strip photos. Uh, note that you can also, by the way, choose flagged photos if you're working from a huge assortment of photos and you really only want to send your selects to the client, which would probably be your flagged photos. In this case, I'm going to say, look, all 10 photos in my uh, film strip, and you can see, voila, it fills out all of my uh, cells with photos. Now, I can over here uh, change the page grid so I can increase and go like, hey, I want to go three rows or, or maybe only one row, whatever it is. I'm going to just stick with two by two though. There are a couple things here up in image settings. You can choose zoom to fill, which you can see what that does. Don't really like that because it adjusts the crop of the photo and when you send it off to the clients, uh, you really want them to see exactly what the photo is. Um, rotate to fill. This can be useful, especially if you're going to print out your contact sheet and send or bring it to the client so you can physically look over everything. Um, but if I'm sending a PDF or something via email, I never turn rotate to fill on. I want you to just be able to look at it on your screen straight up and not have it um, not have it all funky. A repeat one photo per page. You can see what that does. Basically, each page is going to just be you know four up of the same photo. Uh, not really what I want to do in this case. You can throw a stroke on it if you like. Uh, you can increase the margins. So uh, this would just you know increase the left margin, increase the right margin, whatever you want to do. I'm going to set this back to uh, o point. Uh, 25, so 0 0.25, there we go. Uh, and then page grid, we went over that. Now you can do cell spacing. This is kind of cool. Uh, so you can see there's no space between the vertical cells. I could just increase that a little bit, right, to give it a little bit of a bump. Um, we just, you know, add a little bit of space around all the uh, images that way. Uh, cell size, you can also change that, uh, or you can make the cells square. I don't need them to be square in this case, so I'm not concerned about that. Um, I don't really, I, like, I don't want guides, uh, so I, I like to shut that off. Um, but, you know, it's nice to have on while you're laying everything out and setting everything up can be useful. Uh, you can apply a page background. You can throw an identity plate on there. You can say I just have Nathaniel Dodson. Uh, you can hit the little uh, little bump down menu there, say that little arrow, and you can just choose to edit and change the identity plate. I'm going to shut that off. Uh, you can turn on watermarking. If you do that, you can select if you have watermarks that you save. I'm not a huge fan of watermarks, but if you use them, um, you can do that. Uh, I have this nice X overlay, which is just an image that I created in Photoshop, actually exported a PDF, and I got this cool watermark that, you know, so they can still see the photo, but they definitely can't really take it and use it for anything because there's a giant uh, watermark on top of it. I'm going to set that back to none and shut watermarking off. Uh, you can turn on photo info, which can be useful. There is file name, but usually what I would do is just do like sequence. So you can just say, you know, yeah, two of 10, or you can even edit this, the sequence. You can just you know, if you don't want the total number of images, you can just say, like, get rid of the slash and just have the number hit done and one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. That way the client can say, hey, I like image two and four or one and three or whatever. Um, and uh, that's all super duper useful. Uh, then you can also just uh, set the print resolution, different things like that. But for the most part, this is you're going to worry about this if you're actually physically printing uh, these contact sheets via the printer. Now, before I go any further, I am selling a course all about Photoshop-related stuff. But if you're a photographer, it's all about how to retouch images in Photoshop. Boom! A link just appeared right up there in the top corner. Uh, just to keep the spiels short and sweet, if you pick up a copy of this course, it just helps support what we're doing here at tutvid.com. If you pick it up, thank you so much. Tons of people have bought the course, and nobody has complained about it, so I think that's a good thing. I think maybe you'll enjoy it. Uh, this tutorial, however, is totally free. No need to buy anything, um, but if you do pick up that course, thank you so much because you support what we do here at tutvid.com, and I'm greatly appreciative of that. Um, so back to the tutorial. Now, to, to convert this or save this as our contact sheet, what I want to do is change print to from printer to JPEG file. 
And you can see that my options change a little bit. JPEG quality, I'm going to leave it at 100%. You could theoretically reduce the quality if you really want to buckle that in and keep people from even screenshotting your uh, comps that you're sending to them. And basically, you would just choose print to file. And what's going to come up is this save to. I can just save it on my desktop as, uh, you know, clop. I'm going to say hey, comp. There we go. Comp sheet. 01 or something like that and just choose save and you can see it's going to prepare the print job wadi wadi wa and it's going to just save out this series of jpeg images give me a great uh, little comp sheet that i can share with a client and just like that if i jump over to my desktop you can see i have a folder named comp sheet hyphen 01 double click there are my jpegs i can bring them up boom boom bam Love it. Uh, now, I personally don't like to deliver comp sheets as JPEGs. Uh, in fact, I hate it. I never deliver them this way. I like to deliver them as a PDF. Here are two different ways that I create comp sheets uh, and export them as a PDF. This is the way I like to work. But I had to show you the JPEG thing first because maybe some people want to do that. Hey, who am I to judge? Uh, so let's jump back into, back into Lightroom here. And all we need to do to change things up is to go back to the print to area, right? Print to, not JPEG file, but let's go print to printer. Now this seems a little weird because we're not actually printing to a printer but what we want to choose is not print but printer dot 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 right that one printer dot 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 select that and here we've got all these different options I have an old printer plugged in here uh, but I don't want that I want this down here PDF now I do I, I need to just take a brief moment here there this is a default uh, but what's the correct terminology? Driver, I guess I could say print driver, PDF print driver uh, on the Mac. Now, if you're on PC, you are going to need to have like Adobe Acrobat installed. I believe there are some other PDF printer drivers you can install as well. Basically, what I'm trying to say is the experience might not be quite as seamless on a Windows a machine if you're looking to export a PDF from a Windows machine. It still is possible, though. You may need to Google around because I'm displaying it and, and showing it here on the Mac. Just a little bit different on the Mac than the PC. That's all. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose PDF. And from the drop-down menu, I'm, I'm ignoring all the rest of this junk. I don't care about it. Don't want anything to do with it. From the PDF drop-down menu, simply choose Save as PDF. I'm here on my desktop light uh, my desktop lightroom my my desktop and I'm gonna call this comp sheet. There we go and choose save and uh, la di da. It's gonna just prepare this print job. It's gonna export the PDF for us in no time flat. And boom, love it. I'm gonna jump back to the Finder desktop. Look at that comp sheet dot PDF. If I bring it up, here's my PDF. Look at this. What a beautiful thing. And you can just take this PDF. Bam, email it to a client, done. They get all of the images in one uh, one document. They can throw it on their smartphone. They can share it with their friends or colleagues or whoever needs to see the images uh, that you shot for them. It's so easy. It's so simple. It's really, really great. Now, another way to create a comp sheet, maybe not quite as great as this because what's wonderful about the print uh, dialogue here, the, 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 the print module, I should say, is I could go in and say, look, you know what? I really want all the images on one page, so I'm going to do like a four by four uh, or I could do like a hmm, how do I want to do this what do, we, what do I do a five by two maybe well it's five by one let's go five by two and we could have all ten images on one page uh, something like that uh, or you, you can just change up the way you want to do it you could do a five by five and they'd all be really really tiny um, depending on how many images you have the point is you can display multiple images on one page See, the other way to create a comp sheet one of my favorite ways in fact is over here on the slideshow tab and this is what I wish the print tab had. I wish it had this button right here. You see this beautiful thing, export PDF. If the print tab had that, you wouldn't have to worry about all this, you know, crazy wonky print job printer, printer settings, save out a PDF that way. Adobe, give me an export PDF button over in the print tab so I can do multiple images because here in the slideshow, I can do one image on one page. See this? I can, I can you know, show my guides or hide my guides. I can increase, uh, you know, I can I link them all, right? So they're all linked. So if I increase the size of this, I can make my image much smaller, but I don't really want to make it much smaller. I just want to kind of put it in there and have it sort of like that. I could throw an identity plate over it as some sort of weird, bizarre watermark there. I could do an actual image watermark, right? And I would probably want to do an image watermark for something like this because the image is so big. It's so easy and so tempting for the client to say, hey, this could be a new Facebook profile image. Cha-chink, take the picture, and it's not retouched. It's not high resolution. And they're so proud of it, and they attribute it to you as the photographer, and people are like, what? The photographer delivers crappy images like that? And you say, like, oh, no, they stole an image comp and it's all this complicated nonsense that nobody really understands. 
So it's easier just to watermark it in, in a case like this. Uh, that being said, I still am not a huge fan of watermarks, but theoretically, I kind of understand why you'd want it. Um, I do also turn text overlays on uh, because obviously you want the client to see like, hey, this is image one out of 10. Now over here in slideshow, if you turn the text overlay on, you want to come down here and select ABC and from custom text, you would choose something like sequence, right? And uh, you could go to edit once more and you could uh, change and get rid of the total number because I don't really like when it says like one of ten or one of a hundred or whatever. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, I can uncheck text overlays to get rid of everything. In fact, um, so whatever you want to do there, it's all good. Uh, you have your color. You can add a color wash to the background, which is almost like a, a gradient coming across the background. You have some opacity and angle options. Uh, you could also just grab an image, like let's say we like this image here. We could drag it and drop it either on the background or on the background thumbnail to apply an image as our background. Kind of an amateur effect if you ask me. I don't think it always works. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm going to uncheck background image. You can uh, change the background color as well. All kinds of stuff. You got titles if you want to add an intro screen, which is kind of cool, right? If you want to say such and such photography and that's your the, the very first page in the PDF that they see, maybe lend it a, a level of professionalism. You can also do an ending screen like, hey, if you're interested in X, Y, or Z, get in touch with me, you know, buy some photos, whatever. You have an, uh, the option to add an intro and outro sort of screen uh, with which can be interesting and useful. Music, again, I just don't do it. It's not something, these are comp sheets. I'm not interested in, in creating some whimsy, stinking slideshow that, that's gonna you know make you sit on the, the, the couch and weep or anything. And then also important for a slideshow PDF, I set the playback to manual, not automatic. I don't want this to cycle through. I don't want it to be a PDF that plays. I simply want it to be a very utilitarian PDF page after page after page after photo after photo after photo that the client can just, hey, go to the next page, next picture, next page, next picture, so on and so forth. And quality, I'll usually go with standard, something like that. Once you lay out your PDF, all that's left to do is hit export PDF, go ahead and save it, and let's call this comp sheets uh, slideshow. And uh, you can change the quality if you like. You can change the width and height. I'm not going to mess with any of that. And choose export. And uh, once more, it's going to export our slideshow here to PDF, creating a comp sheet of sorts for us. And just like that, it looks like we have another PDF. Yes, look at that on our desktop. And in this case, we have our intro screen, which I added nothing to. But you can see it's just a black screen for now because we checked on. Uh, I can't see it from here. But we did check on add an intro screen. And then the, the client, whoops, the client can simply cycle through the PDF and get to every page, every image, 5 out of 10, 8 out of 10. And they can say, hey, look, I love 8 out of 10. I love 2 out of 10, whatever. Um, and get back to you and let you know which images they would like. Guys. That's going to be it for this one. Three different ways to export contact sheets from Lightroom in a snap. It's really fast. It's really easy. Um, just pick whatever works best for you. Do you like the multiple JPEGs? Hey, go with it. Do you like PDFs? My preference. Roll with it. And then it's a matter of do you want to do multiple images on each page or do you like the slideshow method? Whatever you like, just roll with it. I love it all. I dig it. Hope you guys love it. If you like this video, please hit that like button. It helps so much. Leave a little uh, leave a little comment below this video if you feel so inclined. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash tutvid. You'll never miss another video in the future for creating PDFs, exporting contact sheets in three different ways from Lightroom. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Daniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.